Okay, welcome to Learn SDR with Prof. Jason. Today we're going to learn to transmit and receive from the, the Pluto SDR, or more officially, the ADALM Pluto from analog devices. And to get started with that, you need to screw on your antennas. And to do that, the best way is to hold the antennas steady and just screw the uh, movable part around the edge. This keeps the pin that goes into the SMA connector from rotating and ruining the, the hole that it goes into. And what you want to end up with is you want to end up with both antennas being vertical and roughly parallel for today's, today's work. And these antennas are supposed to be uh, pretty good across a broad range, but especially at the ISM bands, the industrial, scientific, and medical bands here in the US, uh, 915 megahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. So with your antennas screwed on, let's jump to the, the new radio flow graph and, uh, and start to transmit and receive. Pull down a, a Pluto SDR source or SYNC. And those should be in the industrial IIO libraries. If I do a control F here for Pluto, in the industrial I input output uh, libraries, there's Pluto SDR, a sync, and a source. So before we only had a source when we were receiving, today we'll also have a sync for transmitting. So let me put that down first. And uh, the thing that we want to transmit is a, a signal that we can control. So as, as usual, we will deal with complex exponentials spinning at one particular e to the i omega t frequency. And when that turns into a radio frequency signal, that will turn into a single tone at some high, uh, high radio frequency uh, that, that will transmit out of the transmit antenna on the Pluto. And so in order to send a single tone, which is what we'll do for this, this first demo, let me pull up a signal source, signal source. And I will connect that to my Pluto sync. And I need to change a couple of things. The, the first thing I'm going to change is the sample rate. So in, if I open up the Pluto sync here, there, it comes with some defaults. And the defaults are 2.4 gigahertz as the frequency. That's good enough for now. That's in the, the industrial, scientific, and medical, or the Wi-Fi band, the microwave oven band. That's perfectly fine. A sample rate, which is set to this particular integer, and a radio frequency bandwidth, which, which is fine to leave at the default for now. Let me actually copy this sample rate here and paste it into the sample rate variable just so that all the blocks know about the same sample rate. Um, so now we'll set my signal source. I need to set a frequency and an amplitude. The amplitude is fine to be kept at one. The frequency I wanna put on an adjustable slider and that's called a range here. QT GUI range, I'll put one of those down. Let me just call this uh, maybe tone frequency for the tone I'm going to send out. And let's say that this starts at minus 100 kilohertz, E3. Um, oh, sorry, the default value is uh, say 50 kilohertz. And we'll start at minus 100 kilohertz. So that's 100 kilohertz below our carrier and 100 kilohertz above our carrier, that'll be our range. And step size of one hertz, that's, that's fine. Okay, and in my signal source, I will set the frequency to this tone frequency, tone frequency. Amplitude is fine, offset, initial phase, all that's fine. And a cosine, remember when you're outputting a complex number, a cosine really means a complex exponential, which is a single frequency uh, that will get transmitted out of this sync. As always, we should watch what we're doing. So let me pull down a time sync to look at the signal that we're sending out. And number of samples looks okay. Uh, let's now receive this signal with a Pluto sync. So this is kind of equivalent to our RTLSDR sync. Oh, sorry, not a, a sync, a source, Pluto source. It's equivalent to our RTLSDR source. Um, the defaults for the sample rate and the LO frequency and the bandwidth, those are all the same. And 
those are all just fine. So we're tuning to the same frequency that we're transmitting. One thing that I might want to put on a slider here is this gain. So this is the amplifier setting. And right now the gain is set to be manual. Let me change that to be Rx gain. And I'll slide that slider around a little bit. Uh, and so let me make a new range slider to put the gain on a slider. So my variable there is Rx, oops, Rx gain. Um, I'll start with the default value that Pluto started with. And I'm pretty sure the valid range here is from zero to 70 or so. Uh, we'll see if we get an error if, if I go a little bit too high. So by default, the gain is set pretty high. So we'll probably have to turn that down. And let's just look at what's coming out of here with our usual QT GUI time sync and frequency sync to look at what's happening in both time and frequency space. Okay, I have to give this a title. Call this Pluto TX RX for Pluto transmit receive uh, title. I think that's optional, but okay. All right, and now let's play this and oh, save it, sure. All right, so what we have here, and I maybe should have labeled these, we have here coming out is a perfectly clean complex exponential. So it's a cosine and a sine term with amplitude of one. So it goes up between plus and minus one. And what we must have here then is the received signal. And again, because the antennas are so close to each other and the gain is set so high, we get this clipping. So let me turn the gain way down and it takes a little bit of time to, to reset the parameters. And now we see that we have a pretty, pretty clean signal. And I can, I can adjust the gain. You, don't, you want it to be no more than 0.5 generally in case there are some spikes. Um, on the frequency plot, I see a nice spectral peak here right at 0.050 megahertz. So that's at 50 kilohertz. And uh, that's, that's consistent with the signal that I think we should be sending out. So if we change our tone, we can move the tone higher and lower. And you can see that in the spectrum, at least for me, there are some other things that are going on here. Let me, let me turn the gain down a little bit more. Maybe those things will... Uh, go down a little bit. Uh, these are some spurious spikes, but I can transmit something out of one port and receive it on the other port. And if I transmit exactly zero Hertz, that's transmitting a complex constant of some particular, particular phase. So it just happens to be mostly minus I because the imaginary part is uh, mostly uh, minus one, a little bit of minus real part. And what I'm receiving here is actually zero. And if I turn up the Rx gain, I see a little bit of extremely slowly varying signal on the, R, on the receive side. But uh, the Pluto might actually be purposely filtering some signals that are right around zero hertz. So we have to be a little bit careful when we're dealing with signals right around zero hertz. But I can, I can transmit whatever I want and pretty much receive what I want. And if I zoom in on this receive signal, it looks pretty clean, even if I turn the gain way down. And again, the antennas are super close to each other. So we sort of expect, expect that. I can uh, pull up some uh, markers here just to show the samples. All right, so that's our, our first transmit and receive from, from a device.